what's up guys just made some foodie food um, and I'm gonna eat that in a second after I film this but I wanted to talk about entrepreneurship because today I thought about the word entrepreneurship and entrepreneur and what it means to be an entrepreneur um, because you know it's it's cool right now you know it's it's cool being the CEO of a company and running a company and having a startup and Everyone wants to become, not everyone, but obviously in the kind of like circles that, that I'm faced with, especially, you know, with the Gary V's out there, um, everyone wants to be an entrepreneur. And I feel like every person has a part of being an entrepreneur in them. Everyone has, you know, entrepreneurial um, parts in them. Um, because I think often it's being seen as, you know, starting and running the company as the CEO, like that's an entrepreneur. Um, but I thought about it and I thought, you know, the I think the broader sense is bringing something to life, um, a project that is self-motivated. And yeah, I guess that's it. Bringing a project to life self motivatedly and um, I actually I had an interview earlier today well interview I guess a conversation with um, someone who went to high school together with my sister and um, he just reached out on Instagram and he's like yo you know I'm starting this project where I'm interviewing people and, and you know writing the interviews and publishing them and starting an Instagram account and I'd love to interview you and he he told me a bit about the project and it's basically um, if you guys know the Instagram account Humans of New York, where someone goes around New York and interviews people and then puts up a profile of them on the Instagram, I think it started as a blog, basically a picture of the person and then a short story summary of, you know, what that person went through. And he is starting that for people here in Bremen. And, and he also talked about why he's doing it. Um, he was dealing with depression. He was actually diagnosed and went to therapy for six months. Um, and he got out of it. And um, he realized in therapy that, you know, a lot of the people there, like in therapy, everyone is sharing their story. And he realized like, wow, these are like fascinating people and they have a fascinating, you know, backstory and life story. Um, but no one's really like putting it out there because, you know, we so often think like there are only like the big successful people and famous people that are worth writing a story about, but actually we all have a story to share. And so he was like, and then I had the idea because basically it's, it's, you know, it's therapy for the other person because they can talk about their journey and their story and kind of like that helps them process. Um, it's therapy for me because I can, you know, listen to them and see their insights and how they have been dealing with, you know, setbacks and mental health and all of these things. And he's like, and it's going to help people because I'm going to publish it on an Instagram account and um, people can read it and maybe relate to it or maybe extract some lessons from something that another person went through. Um, and he is doing that just for the sake of doing it. He works at a fitness trainer, so he has a job where he works. Um, so it's not like a school project or like a project for college that he has to do so that he gets a grade for it. Like no one is forcing it on him. Like he literally just decided one day, you know, that it sounded kind of cool and kind of fun to do. And so that's what he decided to do. He finds interesting people and interviews them and writes up their story and takes pictures of them and publish them on Instagram. So it's completely self-motivated. It's it's intrinsically motivated, right? And I thought, well, that's that's what entrepreneurship is. Like he's not making money from it and he's not planning to make money from it and he's not doing it for the sake of making money from it from one day. Um, he's just doing it because he wants to do it. But he's taking something, an idea, a concept, and taking it from nothing, because obviously there was nothing before, to something, to, you know, an Instagram page with posts about people. And doing it out of intrinsic motivators and self-motivated, not because you have to, not because it's a school or project for, for college or whatever. And, you know, that's, that's entrepreneurship. So not just starting a company's entrepreneurship, you know, starting a YouTube channel, starting an Instagram account, writing a book you know, 
that's all what being an entrepreneur is about. I guess maybe you could say one one other definition could be doing that and making a living from it. Um, but I don't think that's a part of it because there are a lot of people that we call entrepreneurs um, that have for a long time not made money by doing their startup or actually lost money by doing their startup, you know? Like a lot of people who are now successful, like they went through times where like the company didn't generate money for a long time and they were losing money, you know? So it doesn't have to be that way. So I guess that's just, you know, kind of broadens the perspective of like, oh, I want to become an entrepreneur. It's like, okay, but that doesn't have to mean that you have to start a company. You can do anything, have a project, that you're doing because you want to do it and you know for the sake of doing it and then i think oftentimes along the way if you stick with it you'll figure out a way to make money with it right but that comes after that anyway i wanted to share that let me know if you guys agree with me or not i love to hear um you know about the broader sense of the word entrepreneur and that's it see you tomorrow and peace Hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up Sitting, breathing, do it